fitness, making fitness fun. Get ready for the most exciting, productive, fun, and versatile abdominal workout you've ever experienced, as you are now about to embark on the hottest new trend in fitness. It's called abdobics, which stands for abdominal aerobics, and it's exclusively performed on the Abdoer. Voted the most innovative product at the world's largest sporting goods convention, the Abdoer was invented by John Abdo, fitness expert and author of the critically acclaimed book, Body Engineering. The Abdoer is seen on TV all over the world and is the world's first total midsection machine, while Abdobix is the world's first midsection aerobic system. By following the instruction John provides in this video, you'll start to see amazing results to not only your abdominals, but your entire midsection. By using the Abdoer, you will tone every single muscle in and around your midsection while strengthening the muscles of your lower back and spinal column. There's simply nothing else like it anywhere. So let's get started. Here's your new personal trainer, John Abdo. Hey, I'm John Abdo, and I really want to thank you for investing in the Abdoer. In fact, the winning team, the winning combination between you, the Abdoer, and myself as your personal trainer is going to guarantee success. So let's stop thinking just the abs, let's start focusing on the entire midsection. So up till now, everyone's been doing crunches and ab rollers. They're great machines, but what's happening, imbalances are being created. And I tell people when I consult them, do you want me to tell you what you want to hear, or do you want me to tell you the truth? I'm here to tell you the truth. I'm here to tell you the truth about abdominal slash midsection development, because I've been there. Look at my before pictures. I was over 210 pounds. I think my highest was 214. I never weighed myself when I got too far out of hand. My waistline at that time was over 42 inches. Now it's down to 30. I chopped a foot of fat off my midsection by using this type of technology. I'm an Olympic coach, and I've worked with Olympic athletes, athletes in all sports, figure skating and gymnastics and boxers and martial artists, track and field athletes, and they always move in all different positions. And you look at their bodies and you go, wow, I want to look like that. So these are multifunctional athletes, and we go into the gym, we do a single faceted exercise, and we wonder why we don't look like that. You have to do multi-dimensional training, and that's what the Abdur is. Not only is it multi-dimensional training, the Abdur was voted as the most innovative design at the World Sporting Good Expo in Atlanta, Georgia, and this is the world's first total midsection machine and the world's first total midsection aerobic device, meaning this is the world's first midsection machine that you do aerobically. No one else has done it. Now you have the opportunity to do it. In fact, when I was doing abdominal exercises in the past, look at my picture. <laughs> That's a big waistline. There's a lot of fat on there, but there's a lot of muscle. You see, I was doing standard exercise. I was doing crunches. Every once in a while, I put a weight behind my head. I would do the side bends with the dumbbells, and the muscle got bigger. Well, if you put a resistance to a muscle, it's going to have a propensity or a tendency to enlarge or to hypertrophy. And that's what you don't want. You want the midsection to train for leanness, for compactness. And that's what the ab doer does. The tension bar is enough resistance to not overstress the muscle so it adapts to getting bigger, because a healthy reaction to stress muscularly is for the muscle to get bigger. But it tones the muscles, it shapes the muscles, and by using abdobics, which is my coined phrase, abdominal or midsection aerobics, it allows you to get an aerobic workout, which you would do on a bike, a treadmill, a stepper, to lose body fat, but just concentrating right into midsection. Now, once you take your abdo out of the box, make sure you make reference to the instruction manual. But if you're like me, a lot of times those things are written in Japanese. I can't understand them anyway. So let me walk you through a few of the guidelines here. Real simple, six bolts, two in the front, and this short part of the stand goes in the front, these two bolts right here. The large part of the base stand goes in the back, two bolts here, and two bolts underneath to secure the seat. Make sure you snug them down pretty tight so there's no rattling or anything like that. Once you get that down, it's ready to go. Now the Abdoer comes pre-assembled and actually comes folded like this. Some models come pre-assembled to where the roller is above the arm bar, you gotta flip it. And all you have to do is pull these pins out and adjust it. The Abdoer is completely adjustable depending if you're short or tall. You want this uh, roller to fit you right in the middle part of your back, and this is really therapeutic. What it's going to do 
is massage your back as you're exercising, which forces blood and oxygen into the tissue, allows you to endure a more intense workout, a longer duration workout, and as it's being massaging on your back, it's actually decompressing the spinal column even further. The patented design of the tension bar totally conforms to the spinal column. Let's look at this as a spinal column. If this is the torsion bar and this is the spinal column, they move in total unison. So it's an exact alignment with the spine and all the midsection muscles. And again, if this was the spine and this is the abdominals here and the obliques over here, just look at how your body moves. Now, the reason why people injure themselves is from shoveling snow, picking up a box, or whatever. And all those muscles aren't in condition. The abdoer does that. Now, the other great thing about the abdoer is, again, I've taken this athletic technology and brought it mainstream because most of us can't train like an Olympic athlete. But now, by pulling the arm bar underneath the armpit, we actually decompress the spine. The spine is a series of little bones called vertebrae, and in between those vertebrae are called discs, or intervertebral discs, discs in between the vertebrae. And you have to keep a healthy spacing between those discs so they don't grind on each other. By holding the arm bar upright, you keep that healthy spacing. So any movement I do, there's no grinding of the spine. My spine is actually moving sideways here, backwards here, twisting here, rotating or circulating here, and it's staying a healthy spacing. So the discs aren't being ground on. Other exercise, like if I was to hold on to a dumbbell and go from side to side, the spine is going That's not real healthy. So what I want you to do is refer to the instruction manual. you got to read your workout oath. That's real important because it's mind over matter and your midsection is the matter. Refer to the workout oath. And now let's get started on focusing on total midsection development. You're going to work the abs, but you're also going to work the obliques, the lower back, strengthen the spinal column, and you're going to look awesome. So let's get started with the beginner's routine. Okay, welcome to the class. This is a workout. This is the beginner's workout for the abs doer, and I want to explain a few things. First of all, you could use the base model or the model with the stand that you purchased. The base model, simply detach the stand from the actual unit itself, and you can place it on a, a stair, a, a bench, a piano bench, or here, the Reebok aerobic step. I want to welcome Susie to the class. Hello, Great to see you. And Victoria? Great to see you. Okay, we're ready to get started here, and I'll make sure that you tune in to your midsection, not just your abdominals, because again, stop thinking the abs and start thinking about the entire midsection. Here's my little handy dandy timer, which you don't need, but I'm gonna put it in front of me to pace the actual workout for today. So let's sit upright in the, in the ab door. First key point, get your back up against the roller. Ooh, feels kinda good. <laughs> Wide stance to stabilize your body. Pull the arm bar underneath the armpit, and you're not holding with the arms, you're just holding it right there with just the weight of the thumb to decompress the spine. I'm gonna get the timer started here, and we're ready to go. Okay, two minute warm up. Let's go body bobs, and let's just relax to the side, just to stretch out, mobilize, warm up the spinal column, the whole midsection, easily transition to the other side. Nice and easy. We're gonna pick up the pace. I know you're eager. I know your minds are into your midsections. Just follow me side to side. Nice and easy, let's limber it up, and we're gonna get ready for a full routine. Stop center here, good morning forward. Let's go all the way backward, rock from side to side. Some of you may already have the back and spine mobilization tape, and if you're doing that routine, you obviously have a good, clear understanding of how to warm up the midsection. Forward and rearward, real important to loosen up those muscles because in the abdominal region, there's only one group, of muscle, or one group of bones, and that's the spinal column. Come all the way forward, body boogies. Let's just circulate with the torso. Nice and easy, limbering it up. That feels kind of good. <laughs> but be prepared, because we're going to really get radical in just a little bit here. You go at your own tempo, stop center. Let's reverse. It's nice to have a little timer here because you can actually pace yourself. You spend an equal amount of time on all sides. Nice and easy. Everything's with the torso. You're not pulling with the arms. You're not letting your chest just collapse. Start, stop center. Reverse the other way. Body boogies. Nice and easy. All the way around. Not too hard yet, but the midsection is warming up. Stop center. One more time. Reverse. This is the last 15 seconds here. We're going to get ready to go right into the routine. So get your mind focused. Mind over matter, and your midsection is the matter. 
Okay, five more seconds, three more seconds, stop center. Okay, let's get ready for the routine. Right now, let's get started. Body bob, side to side. Move as quick as you want. Move through a full a range of motion as you're capable of doing. Lean slightly rearward and do body bobs. Come forward a little bit, do body bobs. If you're feeling it in the whole midsection, not just the abs, not just the obliques, not just the lower back, everything's working in unison. Keep it going from side to side. Let's come upright. You're not pulling with the arms, you're not pulling with the shoulders. You're actually feeling it in the whole midsection, the middle section of your body. You may feel a little bit in the hip flexors because they're connected to the lower abs, which is great. We get more muscle. Lean back. Another 15 seconds here before we proceed to good mornings. Let's come forward, transition forward. So we're hitting everything. We're carving, we're chiseling, we're dancing the whole midsection, working every single muscle in and around there. Okay, stop center. Good mornings, forward, all the way back. Squeeze the abdominals forward, squeeze the lower back all the way back. Forward, now let's go with a little bit of a twist to the left here. Forward, to the right. Forward, and back. Keep it squeezing, back. All the way forward, and back. You go at your own pace, at your own tempo. If you feel like you can challenge a greater range of motion, go ahead and do so. But I'm gonna keep reminding you to not pull with the arms or just let the chest fall forward and backward. Squeeze the abdominals forward, lower back backward. Keep it going. 20 more seconds this way. Excellent. Keep it going. Focus in that midsection. Everything's working in unison. You're not gonna develop any imbalances by working everything all at once. Otherwise, you have to work everything individually and there's too much to do and there's never a time where you're gonna get it all correct. Okay. All the way back, forward stop, body boogies, clockwise, full circle, as full a circle as you can go. If you're a beginner, a way beginner, you might have a shorter range of motion. Just do a little circle. But if you've got good mobility, go through a full circle. Nice and easy. In the midsection, right from the belt line, right from the waistline, the whole midsection is rotating. You're not just dropping your shoulders or chest. Keep her going. Keep her going. Nice and easy. Five more seconds this way, and we're going to switch. Stop, center, and the opposite way. Ooh, the opposite way. We're getting everything in and around the whole midsection. I say in because there's muscles inside the midsection as well as outside the midsection. Starting to warm up. Keep it going. Another 15 seconds this way, and we're going to repeat this circuit at hopefully a quicker tempo. Keep it going. Keep it going. It's five more seconds. All the way around, all the way around, stop. Okay, let's increase the speed, range of motion if you can, body bobs, boom, boom. Let's go a little bit faster. Squeeze, 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 all midsection. Don't pull your arms, don't let the chest fall. Lean rearward, keep it going. Keep it squeezing, don't give up. If you can't go fast, if you can't go through a full range of motion, slow down or decrease the actual distance that you're going from side to side. Keep it pumping. Let's lean forward, side to side. Keep it squeezing. I'm starting to feel it now. <laughs> Keep it going. Even the beginner routine is like advanced exercise. Keep it going back there. How you girls doing? Woo! 20 more seconds this way. Let's lean rearward, side to side. Good, Susie. Good, Victoria. Keep it going. Viewers, stay with us. Come on, don't give up. Put your mind into your midsection. Mind over matter, and midsection is the matter. 10 more seconds. Let's go upright. Again, squeezing. Side, 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 side. Keep it going. Three more seconds, and stop center, forward, squeeze with a twist. Forward, squeeze with a twist. These are good mornings. Squeeze abs forward, squeeze back, back, and with a twist. Okay, now let's operate it toward moving a little bit quicker. You're like a pendulum, right from the midsection here. I got a little spark going here. Maybe it's because I'm talking too much. <laughs> keep it going, how you feeling? Keep it going, just keep moving, keep moving. Be experimental, do whatever moves you want to do, or just follow us along. 30 more seconds here. Good mornings, all the way through. We're approaching seven minutes. We've got 15 more seconds here. Squeeze forward, the whole midsection is working in unison. The spinal column and all the muscles that support it are being conditioned and strengthened. 
The spine is staying decompressed because these arm bars are underneath the armpits holding us upright. Okay, stop center forward, body boogies. Okay, one more minute left in this routine. Good circle, all with the midsection. Now with the hands, the chest, and shoulders, don't let that collapse. Connect your upper body to your midsection. Now with the midsection, just rotate the torso here. Keep it going. Yeah, I got a little heart rate going here too. <laughs> aerobic midsection exercise. This is the world's first midsection aerobic machine. It's the Abdur. The routine is called Abdobics. Let's stop center. Go back the other way. 30 more seconds. Come on. Let's keep it going. This is the routine. This is the routine to stay with it, stay strong, stay mobile, stay focused in the midsection. As we tire from one, we transition to another. 20 more seconds. Keep it squeezing. The whole midsection, abs, obliques, lower back, and everything in and around the entire midsection. 12 more seconds. Come on, keep it going. Speed it up if you can. Don't pull with the arms. Focus on the midsection. Five more seconds. Let's finish it strong. Oh, I'm feeling good here. Just the way I got all that fat off my waistline. And stop. Woo! Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Now let's understand that you can stay with this routine until you feel like you can progress to the intermediate and advanced routine. Be creative. You can keep on going. You don't have to stop because we just stop. This is what I suggest as a beginner's workout. It's actually six minutes preceded by a two-minute warm-up, eight minutes total, Focus just on the midsection. All the muscles are working in unison. You never will develop out of balance. If you watch what you eat to burn the candle from both ends, not only will you be shaping and toning the muscles, you'll be losing that body fat, and you're going to get the results you're looking for. Um, I've been working out for over 10 years, and um, abdominals have always been a difficult um, body part for me to work on. What I like about the ab doer is, um, number one, it took the emphasis off the actual abdominal work because I was focusing on the aerobic aspect of it. And also I liked the, um, the way it felt on my spine. It uh, really helped loosen up my shoulders and back while I was doing the exercises. I had a lot of fun doing this. Um, Moving around like this, it was it was just so much fun. It's like I love to dance. Anytime we can move like this, do some music, it was wonderful. Work through into it here, it was it was great. And I have a lower back problem, and, and, and the fact of the matter that my back was straight through the whole thing was very good. So I had a great workout. It was a lot of fun. I was very impressed. The beginner's routine can be performed every other day or no more than four times weekly. After four to six weeks, you can graduate to the intermediate routine. Remember, always pace yourself and have fun. Complete your library by obtaining the entire volume of instructional videos hosted by John Abdo. The beginner's instructional tape is free with every purchase of the Abdoer and is an incredibly effective routine to get you developing the fitness success you deserve. As you progress and become better conditioned, you must follow well-designed, supervised routines that graduate you to new levels of success. Also available for the Abdur are instructional workout videotapes for the intermediate level performer and a specialized routine for advanced level participants. John Abdo has also produced a unique program for people who need to condition the muscles of their back, which mobilizes the entire midsection and stabilizes the spinal column. To order online, log on to our secured website at www.thane.com. Shop for quality health and beauty products, fitness equipment, gift items, and more. Add www.thane.com to your list of favorite websites when shopping online. Thane Fitness, making fitness fun.